So we're back turkey hunting out in the Badlands. We've been on the road for four and a half, five hours, something like that. Uh, we've still got about 42 minutes to go before we get to our camp. Uh, we put the bows away this year. We're not messing around with any of that crap. We're running 12 gauges and I think as of right now, Ryan's plan is to do a little bit more run and gun. I'm probably gonna post up in a blind. Excited to be out here. Hopefully our luck finally turns around. These guys who don't know we're up here, but you look down the road, there's another truck right there, a couple hundred yards, and he just decides to park right here in front of us. Which, whatever, he doesn't know we're here, but if tomorrow things don't change. I'm forever going to be a backcountry hunter after this trip, which sucks because I'm super excited to have like a nice camp. Remember that conversation we were having on the way up here about uh, people not being like not crowding each other in North Dakota? Yeah. 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 Not true anymore. So it turns out, homeboy that was parked right in front of us down the hill here left a surface shit right on the side of the road and it looks like he left his toilet paper down there and that's one of Ryan's biggest pet peeves and he is furious right now I'm not even just furious about that I'm fucking pissed off the guy obviously knew we were here and he just comes up and just takes a shit in front of us and fucking drives off what a piece of fuck man I'm not fuck him now like and to choose my number one like most pet peeve like fucking just shitting out in the open fuck that guy dude <laughs> no fuck him i'm not i'm not laughing at you i'm laughing at the i know you are and you're laughing at me too but a little bit fuck that guy <laughs> and fuck his piece of shit friend that just sat there and did nothing too no, i'm going for a walk How'd it go today, Ryan? There were ups and downs. Roller coaster ride of emotions. <clears throat> yeah, we got here. Um, the gate was blocked. Uh, so we set up just on the other side of it. Went to go scouting. And sitting there scouting. Uh, started kind of slow. Saw one other vehicle around, so we knew there were other, other hunters in the area. Um, and then two other guys were all up in a pickup and they kind of they pooped on our parade quite literally quite literally <laughs> <laughs> uh, They came up. I Don't know for sure if they saw us or not one of them pooped on the side of the road <laughs> and left his poop right there <laughs> with all the toilet paper Which is just my favorite thing that people do tomorrow. We're gonna get up about quarter to five and head out and do some scouting and yeah hopefully figure out where the birds are and where the people are we should have set up some decoys outside the tent last night you know, I thought about it just as a joke, set those inflatables <laughs> up out there. But honestly, right now, I don't know, like, we're kind of pinned right here. Yeah, because if we start moving around, so we're going to bust and go away from us. Yeah. I haven't heard anything fly down yet of you. No. Once they fly down, we might be a little safer. 
because that's only what, probably a hundred yards. Yeah. I would guess they're just on the other side of that creek. Yeah. Pretty much right where we thought we heard them last night. So there's one. Two for sure. Maybe three. What do you think, Ryan? Is your confidence restored a little bit? Yeah, the fact that I'm still laying in bed and hearing gobbles all around us. <laughs> it's a bit of a confidence booster. Now we just have got to figure out how to get out of the tent without scaring them all away. Yeah. <laughs> That's a first for us. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I thought we were set up plenty far away. Yeah. up and over that ridge now. directions all around us where we could hear them gobbling up in the trees so we just kind of hung out till they bugged out and they came this direction to where I'm sitting now so we didn't get much of a hunt this morning but we kind of walked around a little bit found what we're pretty sure they're roosting trees so they should walk right by me Ryan is set up on the ridge opposite me on the back side of where we were glassing last night. He saw a couple over there so he was going to keep an eye on them tonight and come up with a game plan for tomorrow but I'm planning on coming back here in the morning and then adjusting as needed I guess. Set up for the day I found a little choke point here. It's kind of a long way, well it's a hundred yards from where we had seen turkey last year. I can't get in that little spot I was in so I'm setting up in a little choke point here where I can see if anything moves down through there. I can also see if anything moves down the creek bed here too, which I think in the morning this will be a better spot. So it's a little bit windy out today, which isn't, that's not going to help the situation with the turkeys. We're not going to be able to hear the gobbles from, it would be pretty close for us to hear them. to set up here or sh should have scouted one more night or what I should have done but I don't know how much this wind is going to affect the turkeys I don't know if they're going to go back up to their 
normal roost trees that they were in last night since they're kind of in the open and getting slapped pretty hard with the wind tonight or So today we're trying to find different spots to uh, check out for turkeys. The spot where we've been sitting the last couple of years seems like it's getting burned out with hunters. Haven't really seen. We've heard gobbles. Haven't seen any. Uh, haven't seen any beards yet. Seen a couple of hens. So we're driving around this morning looking for uh, possible places to go when we come up here in a couple of weeks. We found one. Yeah, that actually looks uh, fairly promising as long as people stay out of it, but who knows. Yeah. I think the plan for the rest of the day is we're going to check, I think we got what, one more spot to check out. Yeah. So I'm going to tag along with Ryan on the back side of the ridge here, and if that's what he decides to do, because it'll probably change by then. Yeah, I think that's my plan. So we're back out on our glassing spot here. Our last spot was nothing but that one hen that we saw. We're gonna sit up here till probably close to dark, see if we can't put some turkey to bed, see where they're roosting, or see if there's anything even moving through the area, because we are fresh out of ideas. Um, we've been able to hear them gobble for about 15, 20 minutes right away in the morning. And then they go silent and disappear, so thoroughly getting our asses handed to us out here. Chilling in that one spot on the trail. Is he? Yeah. Hasn't moved much at all. But has moved enough to let me know he's a turkey. Has he moved enough to show you his 12-inch beard? Uh, uh, I'm I'm pretty sure I would only be able to tell that if it was actually a 12 inch beard.
Dude, what happened? Did you see that? I saw that. <laughs> so, first thing, I still don't know if that thing had a beard or not. If it did, it was fairly small. Um, I was hanging out up by this tree up here. So I came around the back, kept all this scrub between me and it. Walked up to the tree about, I ranged it at like 36 yards. Dropped all my shit. Kind of started skirting around this way, I couldn't see it. Came back around the other way, still didn't see it. Kind of dropped down a little bit. I had him ranged at eight yards. I had him at eight yards. I still couldn't tell if it had a beard. What? Yeah. Oh my it was, god. Like, it, it had backed me the whole time. <laughs> so then I kind of sat there and I let it kind of get around so it couldn't see me again. I gave it a few seconds. I peeked around again and I lost it. I was like, well, what the hell? It was right here, eight yards away. So I thought maybe it, when I scooted back around, I thought maybe it uh, saw me and ran off. So I go walking up and I see what I think, well, something black caught by, like right off the side of the trail there. I was like, that can't be it. So I didn't even pay it any attention. Take another stuff and sure shit. <laughs> like, you know how most people like scare up a grouse that close? That, right. I, I just did that with a goddamn turkey. <laughs> um. Had I known that it was, had I known whether or not it had a beard i could have shot it at least three different times i was waiting for you to take the shot when it was flying yeah i did you see me pull up on it <laughs> yeah yeah i thought about it but i <sighs> did, you, did you ever see if it had a beard i could like it if it had one it was maybe like that it was really yeah i don't know if that one if i would have gotten a little bit better look at it i would have tried the shot in the air but um, I'm not willing to, if I'm not 100%, I'm not going to pull the trigger. Hold this real quick. I need to show you something. Okay. When, you, when you're about 50 yards away, um, I realized something, and it was too late to tell you. What? You had one shot. Nice. <laughs> well, I was like, oh, I'm going down there. I'll just put one in. If I go, I'll put more. And then, yeah. Well, that wraps up this turkey trip. Our plan for this morning was listen for the gobbles right around camp and then uh, find out where they're going up in higher elevation and try to chase after them up there. But sat and listened this morning from first light till, what, 6 o'clock? Yeah. Didn't hear a gobble. So, you know, about an hour and a half and not one gobble. So we decided, screw it, we're going to pack up camp and just head home. Plan is we're going to be back out here in a couple weeks. Hope, hopefully there will be some strutting and some calling and stuff like that. And the birds aren't silent all day so we can actually find more than a random hen here and there. And 